Hey everybody, it's Susan Cook with Rialto Academy, and I am here in New Orleans. Woo, EXP Con, oh my goodness, I'm having a good time, got here yesterday. And the first thing I did was hook up with Anthony Desat. How you doing? I'm doing fine, thank you so much for talking to me today. The first person I wanted to meet was the guy that has put Instagram on its, on its heels. <laughs> With New Orleans, there, absolutely. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about your Instagram. Pro, um, well, I'll tell you, I essentially, I mean, I've been doing uh, Instagram marketing for a while. I've kind of gotten to the, the platform, I guess, in an early state, and um, I realized the potential it has for influencers in the uh, in any aspect, in any niche. And what really kind of got me involved with Instagram was I created a food account called Eating Nola. And I went from a, almost an no, unknown person here in the city of New Orleans related to food to now the food guru. So I get invited to the openings, the tastings, the judging, and one of the really cool things that set it apart for me is I got invited one day to um, the New Orleans Food and Wine Experience. Wow. It's a big international event. They called me up about five years ago and they said, hey, we want you to be a culinary judge. I'm like, I'm a real estate guy. What do you mean you want me to be a culinary judge? <laughs> and so I get on this bus and I'm like, some of these people who are insanely, you know, huge people in the food world, Mm -hmm. I'm on this bus, it's like Instagram guy. So about five years ago, I didn't realize, like, holy cow, like if I could go from almost an unknown to a food rock star for the city, mm -hmm. this, this platform has power and potential. And the one thing really cool about what we do in real estate is, you know, I realized Instagram is a very visual tool. And what are we doing in real estate? We show off houses. So essentially, I've taken that concept of building, eating, over, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm right at about 150,000 followers on that platform, on that account. Now shifted it into the real estate world. And so created an influencer status using Instagram to capture real estate leads. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So how did you make that shift? Well, first off, you know, one of the things that I uh, noticed when you, um, when you were interviewed in the world yep. um, was that you talked about how, how restaurants actually call you yes. and ask you to review right. their um, restaurants here Absolutely. in New Orleans. Well, the, the power of it is essentially, so if I go into a restaurant and, and I try not, I mean, you know, I get a lot of calls. I, get, I could probably eat somewhere five times a day for free if I wanted to, but I don't, I'm wow. trying to do that. The point is, is that I like being able to grow and help others with this. Mm -hmm. So yes, I'll get a phone call. I'll post a picture if the food's good, because I'm not going to post it if I don't like it. I tell them that all the time. And essentially the next few days, next week or so, they'll have, you know, a few hundred people come through. I had mm -hmm. one, for example, there's a great barbecue place here in New Orleans on Carrollton. They posted this really cool spicy chicken biscuits so i posted the uh i reposted the forum to hey guys you have to try this amazing they had 300 people walk into the store that day he called me and said hey man please delete that post i said why what's wrong he goes we don't have enough he goes i got i got a line of 40 people out the door right now and i can't even serve them so imagine they, that please delete that please post delete the post because we don't have enough we don't the, 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 the wow. demand has outweighed the supply Wow. And so I tell you, and it's you know, I talk about it, I get goosebumps because it does, it tells me the power of social media. Yeah. You know, and so if you can take that same, you know, this when this concept happened to me, it's really eye-opening, you know, when you could take this powerful resource and make yourself what's called a real estate influencer. So mm -hmm. now that's my goal now, is like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make myself into what I've done here as the food guru. Now I'm gonna shift it to the real estate guru, because let's be honest, real estate's been my career last 15 years yeah i can tell you that you know the the food part came was a hobby mm -hmm. and that hobby almost turned into another whole career for me yeah yeah it did so when did you start making the transition and and opening up another account that and start getting concentrating on real estate well at that time about about five six years ago i realized the power of it so i actually opened up a few accounts oh, so um okay. you know, with that how said, many accounts do you have today Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so the, one, the funny part is I had one called It's Your Nola, like IT, yeah. yes, Your Nola. I sold that one this week for $15,000. No. Yes. A, a account that I built out, New Orleans niche related, 75,000 followers, Twitter account. You hear that, guys? Yeah. Start an Instagram account and give some I followers, a, and then it could be another income stream for I, you. I had a local marketing company, so wow. $15,000. Wow, <laughs> nice. So yes, I do have a few hundred accounts. I do work them and build them and slowly 
you know, grow them. And I'll tell you, when the guy, I, I sent them all the account, and they were a little nervous. Like, man, it's a lot of money we're going to spend for this. Mm. He sent me an email last night. He goes, hey, man, you did an amazing job at this. Account. It's the best engagement I've seen on, a, on, a, on Instagram in a long time. How many followers did you have on that account? 75,000. 75,000 followers. Related to New Orleans. Wow. You want to know the really cool part about it? You probably sold it too cheap. You think you left money on the table? Well, I did. But 15,000, 15,000. Furnished my new office. Oh, yeah. And I love this new office. I tell you what, this thing is just as cool as it can be. You know, it's right in the warehouse district in New Orleans. And um, I love exposed brick. And you can see that. It's a, it's an old warehouse. And it's a little, you know, he, he's a little particular about, you know, its condition. But that's okay. We're going to show you around right now. I tell people you but seen. I could really get some things done in here. Yep. I love it. I love the charm of it all. You can walk down and get an iced coffee. He's already taken me and got me an iced coffee. I'm going to be buzzing Strong. all afternoon. Yeah, Woo! Yeah. We're going to be rocking and rolling tonight at the LSU game. So um, tell me how you transitioned. Well, I asked you that question. Let's tell me how you transitioned into real estate. What's how long Instagram? ago did you do that with Instagram? Well, probably about three years ago. Ah, it was a okay. slow transition. I was with, I was on a real estate team, you know, I had with, with at Keller at the time. And so I wasn't kind of my own. I was in a partnership with someone. A year and a half ago, I moved over to EXP Realty. And about a year ago, I started working towards really building different brands related to real estate. So essentially, really wasn't much of a transition. I'd say I already had some of the accounts. I just started using the engagement tools that right. I have to create a following and grow. And now they've gotten to the point where most of them are around 50,000 followers. You know, one, like the Holton City one. You know, yeah. I've been actually having that brand and name for almost eight to ten years. I just recently, within the last year, put it back into play and created what I'm putting with it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's funny how we just kind of, like, recycle some of these things. What's really interesting, do. yeah, I had, I mean, about eight years ago, I started this when I had a team in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And um, one night about, not even a year ago, I just woke up out of bed. I'm like, wow, why well, haven't ran with this? And so I went and checked. I still own the domain name. I still had the Twitter. I still had the Instagram. I'm like, let's do it. Let's go full force. So I've jumped into that now and mm. building that brand up. Yeah, yeah, that's great. So um, you've got Homes Plus City running, mm. you know, yep. and um, you've got it in in here and also <coughs> Shreveport. Shreveport, yes. Yeah, yes. and you're about to break into Florida, right? Florida, yep. yep. So how many flo uh, followers do you have on your main Instagram account? Oh, Twenty eight thousand. Twenty-eight thousand. Yeah, yeah. So you're just kind of like breaking in. Just starting. Just starting. Huh? Just starting. So are you getting any leads off of that particular Instagram account? Not really that one. That one's more the brand, you know. So I believe in building. I've always called it the mothership, you um, know. And so Homes and City is the mothership, and then you have the extensions to it, ones that feed. You know, you put other pods out there, and they feed back to the mm -hmm, home. Mm -hmm. So essentially, I have one called Homes for Sale Nola. Mm -hmm. You know, that's an Instagram account which specifically related to New Orleans homes. Mm -hmm. And it's really paying attention to the way things work. You can post, and I tell people, I've mentioned this in Instagram class, you can take pictures and put them on Instagram. You can take pictures of yourself, your food, and all this, but people really don't care about those kind of things. And especially if it's not a really good looking picture. You know, so what, you know, a good friend of mine owns a podcast, and it's amazing if you all learn about the city of New Orleans called Beyond Bourbon Street. He essentially talks about everything outlying around the Bourbon Street area. But the one thing he told me when we were talking was, Anthony, I could post pictures about. You know, this, that, and the other thing. But you know one thing they like the most? Pictures of houses. Good pictures. So I'll tell you, I just sat there and really studied and funneled on it and just toned in on it and just found out. I go post a picture of something related to New Orleans, but then I pick, post a picture of a gorgeous mansion on St. Charles, 100 likes, 3,000 likes. Huge difference. Yeah. For example, my building here, I took a picture of the front of it the other night, really dark, and when the lights were lit, I average maybe 200 likes on my homes and city account per picture. This mm -hmm. one got almost 1,400. Wow. So it's just really amazing. And time of day plays a part, too. The algorithm that they have is really weird. But I'll tell you, back to, and I mentioned this in my class, Instagram is a visual tool. Those pictures have to look, look great. Mm -hmm. So you take a picture, you edit it, make it look great, and it can really go take off. Mm. So um, are you getting real estate leads? Yes. You are getting real estate leads. Absolutely. How many are you getting? a lot i tell per you week. are you are you like, that? yes absolutely <laughs> okay i'm gonna say well I, I don't i'll tell you I, I do something a little bit different 
I believe in my team. I don't, you know, I, I had commissions in, I had Boomtown, and I used to funnel everything back to one website. And the problem I found out every time, not the problem, the problem I had is when an agent would leave my team, all these leads, and I could generate a, a lot, were always stuck with me. And so I've taken a different approach with my team is that, you know, the amazing thing that EXP offers to us is a platform called KV Core. Yeah. And that KV Core platform allows every agent to have their own website. Yep. And I love that because guess what? You know, we talked about this earlier. Mm -hmm. Agents come and go when you have a team. I'm building a really large team. I don't want their leads. Yeah. Honestly. So now I funnel everything to the agent's website. And that's why people like working with me because I'm not that person. I don't even need a person with my name on everything. I want them to grow. So essentially... I don't know exactly, but I keep track of everything. I know what I get a day to mine, and mine's about 30 to 50 a day. 30 to 50 a day. And I that's, do, still, that's pretty yes, good. And I do rotations on the clicks. Do you have a team account with KB Core? No. Okay. Everything so you literally, through. you just let them have their own leads, yep. and um, it, it, you have different algorithms as, as far as team compensation yep. for their own leads and all that. That's very generous. Mm -hmm. That's very generous. Of you. I believe I've taken an approach in this business is I want to build others up, you know, and help them grow. And my goal is I yeah. tell my agents, you know, you're not going to be working for me for more than three years. Yeah. You're going, I'm going to coach yeah. you. I'm going to train you. And I want you to be that powerhouse team Yeah. and grow beyond that. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I tell you, if you have that philosophy, I tell you, you will always you will always get your phone answered when people Absolutely. When you call. Absolutely, you know, you help, you help others achieve you know, their goals. You never you burn any bridges. That's yep. right. You can live the life you want. I've always had that philosophy myself. You know, <laughs> did it break my heart when people leave? Uh, me? Absolutely, it's it my heart. You know, <laughs> right. um, but you have to believe in their own growth. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. and you have to believe in um, in building them up because the other the other way is indentured servitude if you ask me no, right, right. you know i don't like that at all no. so i you, you mentioned something that uh is near and dear to my heart and that's kb core yep. and being a zillow buster hashtag <laughs> hashtag zillow buster man there is no reason in this world why people should be paying for leads absolutely not. none i think the only reason why you would pay for leads if you're too lazy to do the work and i mean that in a polite way it is work it is work it is work hey you got to do a lot of research on there. Yep. You know, well, so um, it's the easy way out. You throw money at a problem. Yeah. And you think you're fixing it, but you're not. And then yeah. I get it. I do people all the time. I'll spend five hundred dollars and I make a thousand from a Zillow lead. Yes, you do. And guess what? That's always still money going out. Yeah. Us. And you know what? There's six other people that are getting that lead. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, and you just got to be first. I refuse. I mean, my business. I refuse to spend money on lead generation. The only and I'm lying a little bit in a sense because I do. I do. I got in the business a long time ago, and I believe in prospecting still. I still, mm -hmm. my team prospects, we do pay for Mojo, we do pay for Vulcan and all that. So, oh, that's yes. tools. Tools, exactly. That's tools. Yep. I mean, I pay for BeLive, I pay for so, Zoom. Internet lead generation? I, nope, yeah. I, don't, I don't spend a penny. Yeah. And uh, it never pays off. Nope. You know, it never pays off. So you tell me what you do with the leads once you get them. Yep. You put them indicate poor, and you let your, um, you let your team. So <laughs> do you know... Um, do you know the ROI on it? Do you know how many deals? Well, you told me about the new guy that you mm -hmm. just hired, the yep. new agent. You know, tell me a little bit more about this young man. Well, Brian Maurice, he was a teacher at Destrahan High, which is a school right outside of New Orleans, and essentially, mm -hmm. you know, he got into the business and just came in listening, you know, just wanting to learn, being very uh, open to the ideas. And essentially, mm -hmm. he's been with me for about three and a half months. He's closed almost, I think he's got seven closed and probably four pending right now. It was first, mm -hmm. first four months in the business, which is really amazing. I've had some people get in the business and suffer for six months and yeah. then kind of hit their mark. Yeah. But um, now he's taking a good approach and just really going. How old is he? Probably, I don't know, it's probably 28. Yeah. <laughs> 29. Yeah. Right. So is he embracing the Instagram lead generation? Yes. Yes. He, yes. And, and learning from me too. And that's the thing I love about it. He's got his own Instagram account. I'm helping him grow it. I'm teaching him what I know. Uh -huh. And I want to, and back to, I'm, I'm interested in growing people, you know, growing, taking my theories and concepts and my practices to grow. And I'm doing the same thing with him. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. That's awesome. So how many deals he's been in the business? Four months. How yep. many deals has he closed? Seven closed, four pending. Nice. Four months. How know, would you right? like to have oh, wait, that? No, 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 no. How would you like to have that kind of business model? Wait, wait, wait. We're not talking about like hundred thousand dollars. He's going to close four fifty, six hundred. Nice. His, his GCI in four months was almost over. 
averaging forty-two thousand dollars. So he's already he's already equal to salary. He's, he's capped. Capped as a brand new agent in EXP four months. Four months capped. And you took you've used Instagram and KV Core and Facebook. And Facebook, and Facebook. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Facebook for me has been big. Yeah, I am really I've getting back. into. I've gotten back. I got away from. I, I went away from Facebook for almost mm -hmm. two years. And they changed their algorithm now. Really, um, um, the other day I saw on the discussion group that the short links weren't working, and KV Four was aware of it. Mm -hmm. And um, they were. And it, the reason why they weren't working wasn't KV Four's fault. Right. It was Facebook. Gary Vandercheck says, and um, if you read his new book. He said, don't count Facebook out. I'll tell you, they're too big of an entity. You know people lost interest. You better get back in. You better get back in now because they're going, they're not going to lose. Yeah. So. And it's getting involved with the community groups. Absolutely. And my, groups, you know, that's, that's and it. I've, I've uh, joined community groups and some of them need admins. And so guess what? Cha-ching. You your know? Own I realized the other day, I'll tell you, um, I, didn't even I had eleven thousand um, member group say no, no, no admin. You want to be an admin? I had an eight thousand. I had an eight thousand group that I started eight years ago. And I didn't realize it was my group. I'm in it. I'm like, what that was my group. Oh my god! So it's New Orleans um, real estate agents. Mm -hmm. like, and so you know, when you have your own group in Facebook, guess what <laughs> happens? When you post something, nobody can say anything about it being against the rules because guess who makes the rules? YouTube. You know what the cool thing is? I saw ads. Yep. You want to be the banner? Really? Yeah. So I have to all the real estate agents, you know, a group. And so I get people approaching me all the time, wanting to post. And so I send them a message. Because uh -huh. you know, you get all, oh, I'm trying to sell AC. I'm doing sheet rock work. I say, look, for $75, I'll put your, uh, you're the header on my group. I'll leave you there for a week. So let me ask you this. And I was not supposed to be saying so. And I just <laughs> remembered. That I said it three times. I've, I've listened to myself say it three times. So, four. Um, tell me this: Do you have on your on your business plan how much money you want to make off your social media? Not really, because it's not. I'll tell you, and it's something I got to look at because it's something that I really. Uh, I don't know how to say this, but I guess it wasn't. You know, I make my money off the real estate side. So kind of all the other stuff I do, the, 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 the growth of Instagram, the growth of these social media accounts fuels that fire. However, recently with different directions and the growth of a particular brand, I've realized it's a lot of money. So I brought it up with a local company called Bayou Brands. And they're building out a lot of stuff for me right now, all my you know marketing and whatnot. And his, he asked me, he was like, Anthony, when are you going to open up a social media company? I was like, well, back to, I'm building this brand. He goes, dude, you're crazy. He goes, it's amazing that you know you can know how to grow this and so much opportunity and everything. So it's a piece of the puzzle, but I'm really honing in on the home and city brand right now and trying to grow that. Once it becomes a little bit bigger and once that true, you know, the thought that always said when you're working in the business versus on the business, I'm still in my business. I still sell houses, I still list houses. But when I get to the shift, my big shift in my, my pivot in my company is when I go to work on the business and see where it goes. Yeah. So, and uh, you know, you mentioned earlier to me that you enjoy developing people. Yes. And I could see you actually coaching people on building a business and social media and right. having that kind of like, you know, um, intertwine with itself yep. with social media marketing. Absolutely. We are marketers. We are more than anything else. Well, that's that's you how I've learned how to do this. People like, how did you learn how to do this? I mean, I got to business. 12 years ago, almost 13 years ago, we had, we didn't have websites back then. Mm -hmm. And so my brain was always, how do we do this? How do we do this? I mean, when people ask me, Anthony, how did you learn how to market here? I mean, look, it's all from real estate. I mean, I remember back in the day, we were running, you know, I, had a, I had a marketing guy on my team, you know, eight years ago, his job, his one job for my team was post Craigslist ads. You know, but think about the change in that. We don't even, I don't even touch Craigslist anymore. You know? I, I do it because, you know, KB4 has a yep. little button on there and I, and I show in my classes on how easy it is to do it. Absolutely. Have I gotten a lead? <laughs> right. But it's always evolving, always changing. And guys, I spent many late nights. I used to be a night owl. I used to go to, go to bed at four o'clock in the morning, wake up at six, and kind of self taught all this. But it's a lot of trial and error. I mean, we went from you know Craigslist to massive Facebook push, Instagram thing right now. I went through a whole Snapchat phase where I was crushing Snapchat. Mm -hmm. And then Snapchat changed the algorithm and it died on us. I went from 20,000 views per snap to 1,000 overnight. Mm -hmm. You know, so you got to constantly grow. And I'll tell you, if you've ever listened to Gary Vandercheck, 
mean, he talks about it. Gary B. Oh God, it's just you know every time and you know the, the big thing that he has his last book talks about is building your brand. And being the digital man. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Being a digital man. Yeah, and that's what I'm trying to teach people right now. You know, I have me, Anthony Gazette, on Instagram, 28,000 followers, continue to build my brand, build my push, but also, too, you're building your, your, you know, your brands outside of it also. And Home to City is one of them. Two, two motherships, I guess you could say, I'd call it. It's me, myself, the brand, and Home to City right now. Yeah. And everything else is spiral, spokes to the wheel. So you mentioned to me earlier, too, that you are branching out into another state. Yes, Florida. And uh, tell me a little bit about that. Well, I'll tell you, a couple of weeks ago, I went to Rosemary Beach and right outside 38, but kind of where the hurricane hit Panama City. You know? yeah. So it's unfortunate what happened out there. But I visited there and it made me realize, one, the company we are affiliated with now kind of really talks about residual income, talks about changing your life, working from anywhere. So I said, why? Why not? Why not move to a beach community? So. I've actually started one of my spokes to my wheels called Homes and Beach. And we're looking to set up a team in an office in Rosemary Beach, Florida right now. Going through a lot of talks, talking to agents out there, but that's going to be the next big push. Wow. Well, move over. Oh, yeah. I yeah. want to go too. I'm you live know? in New Orleans, live in Rosemary Beach, and be happy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and there's no reason why. It's it's uh, real estate. It, it, it's actually a life without borders. It it's is. It's actually a life without what? um um, any restrictions whatsoever, and John, I enjoy the freedom as well. Jonathan Newbury really said something the other day, it was amazing, you know, what he said because you know, being at Keller Williams, it was a phenomenal company, but I always was locked into a location. I had teams in Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Mandeville, and I was paying a cap everywhere, you know. And one thing I really like about the company now that we're at, that we're at is that there's no cap to that, there's 16,000 across the board. And Jonathan said, Anthony, you're the team leader with no limitations. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, wow. Why not? Why not reach out to a next day? And honestly, the next person I reached out to the top agent in Shreveport, Louisiana, that I know, and I recruited her in. I said, hey, look, we're going to join the Huntington City Shreveport team. She's like, okay. I was like, wow, there, here. You know, I could have these teams that take this national expansion team and brand. Because the cool part about social media, I can grow it anywhere. I mean, you can truly grow social media and gain followers in an instant anywhere. So, for example, the agent in Shreveport, you know, we have our Shreveport account running and growing. It's taking time to build, but instantly I started posting the Facebook groups for her. And guess what happened? She started getting leads. Fires. Yeah. She called me up. She's like, oh, my God, Anthony, I can't believe it. I got 16 leads in the last three hours. And it was seriously five clicks of a button. And think about the power now. And guess what it costs? Be my time. Zero. Zero. I know. I, I'm enjoying myself really well, yep. a lot with Katie. <laughs> So, anything else you want to talk about? Anything you want to tell everybody here? I've, we've been on for a little bit. And, and check out, you know, you can check me out on Instagram, Anthony Desette. You can check out Homes in City on Instagram. And uh, if you have any questions, just follow follow up with me. Let me know. Would you um, would you enjoy Would you join me sometime in the future and talk to some um, students? Whatever you want. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, guys, I'm going to go and start enjoying a little more of New Orleans. It's a hot day here. I know I left the freezing weather, and you see I have no no sleeves. Um, it's 80 degrees outside, and I'm drinking iced coffee. In case you didn't know. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, I think this city is amazing. So I'm having a good time. Uh, join me. I'm going to be documenting a, a, a lot of things going on with uh, my visit here and take care.